Oh, so you're central, bud. Yeah, you're central time. You're not. We're not team. We're, we're one hour fuck. off. You fucking fucking lied to us. To A whole week you, you lied to fucking us. Fucking lying sack of shit. Yeah. Fucking, yeah. fucking told us you were in the best time. Zone Guy the shows up in Alabama. He becomes an Alabamian. Like all of a sudden. No. What you fucking fuck? is like Chicago? Alabama yeah. People fuck call off. You know how mid you are right now, Alabians. Cody? Like basic. Mid. Mid. mid and Alabians. basic. We're 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 Albi we're Albi. And I'm from Ohio. I'm calling you mid. Alabamians. That's what I said. Yeah, Albanian. No, that's the right. No, I show We're respect Albanians. to my fellow Americans. I worked with an Albanian named Dragon once. At best <laughs> I'm a Mobilian. Mobilian is the word, apparently. Okay. No, Mobile. he was Bosnia. He was from Bosnia. My bad. His yeah, name is thanks. Dragon. And before we we got in a contest to see who could get the most credit card applications. Yep. And uh, this this redneck kid came in and I was like, Hey man, you want to help me slay a dragon from Bosnia? It was the last day of the month and I needed one more to beat him. And he said, fuck yeah. And he applied for a credit card and got two grand. Fucking sweet. So The mango. Uh, the, uh, you know who makes the best fake Italians? Real Italians? Albanians. Mm. You can't tell the difference for the most part. Outside of the tracksuits. Yeah. I was, uh, I was watching some stand-up comedy. And I think it was Bill Burr who said that Filipinos are the black people of Asians. <laughs> <laughs> and I've always struggled or with that. Or the Mexicans of Asians. Or the Mexicans of Asians. But that's America's America opinion. Yeah. But that's America's racism. <laughs> yeah, it's n nothing. Mm. This is not Rem. This is Cody. No, this is this is <laughs> this is a Filipino man making jokes about his own race. Cody gets to Alabama. Nose, and this happens. <laughs> <laughs> Cody, what's the state flag look like there? Uh, it's a big red X. <laughs> A big old red X on a fucking white background. <laughs> and, uh, oh, was the swastika busy that day? Uh, I don't know. I'm uh, not friends with the that that graphical artist artistry. I like that it took like like a hundred episodes almost. Would you find find you guys finally get my humor? Like, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, uh, you, I thought is, you were not signaling. Oh, no, we were no. dancing with a mare in the background. Oh, my bad. <laughs> well, it is what it is, homie. Aww. I'm a terrible producer. I hope we get invited. Me too. I would go to that for real, absolutely. The Alabama yeah. one. I'd give hey, Cody away. Hey, everybody! Welcome. Oh episode 259 God. of the Rich Sigmund Show, the podcast that is slightly better than you know, I am your host, Ram. It's a you. Ram, we got to figure this volume thing out, man. Because sometimes it's too loud, sometimes it's too soft, and I need it. No, see, it's got to come back up. It just throws me off, Randy. It's your Oh, back. I thought you wanted it down. Your did incompetence. You, did you touch the Randy's here. Cody's here. Let's do it again. Randy. No. My baby girl. What's going on? <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's a momentous time to make an announcement. What you got? I have a good boy. He graduated a basic yes. in training, and he will now sit whenever I take my hand and go, I don't even have to say anything. I just have to lay my hand out, and that motherfucker sits. All right? He does everything but the sit stay pretty well, or the down stay. Does, does uh, he, pick he doesn't up like that. that dropped in Alabama. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, just, we're good. We're fine. Everything's fine here. Cody sorry. pulled a Randy. Um, no, we're. I was fine. I didn't touch anything. He's in the kitchen. <laughs> I missed it all. <laughs> no, everything's. See, here's the thing. It'll be. It'll probably be filtered out, so the people at home don't even know what's going on now. That we're just. I'm sorry. Just, uh, Cody's reaction to all that just set me over. The edge. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. No, we're good. <laughs> okay, so Everything's good. fine. Congratulations, Randy and Otis and Kristen. Money well spent to yes. get a dog to. Yes. You without hitting what's, it. Uh, what's his? Uh, what's his magic? Uh, I know you said you could. Uh, you could uh, hold out your hand and have him. Well, uh, he had to do a whole obstacle course. Like it was a nine nine station obstacle course. Um, Could you do this obstacle course? Yeah, because well, I, I mean, not quickly because getting down and back up is kind of hard for me. He's a big boy. Like, mm, like okay. I had to climb the stairs today because the elevator was out, and I literally thought I was going to die in the middle of the office <laughs> because I was trying not to breathe heavy because everyone could fucking hear me. I was mm -hmm. sucking wind and uh, 
Finally, I just owned it. Put my hands over my head and was like, <laughs> <laughs> elevator's out. What are you going to do? <sighs> so. It's always, always fun like that. I, too, currently am in not uh, stair scale worthy uh, shape. I am just I am full and turgid of seafood right now. What kind? And it, oh. I, uh, I had the gumbo and I had Cajun seafood pasta. Yeah. And I'm a full boy. There's there's scallops in me. Oh boy, that's delicious. Ooh, yeah. mm. sounds sick. You having a good time out there? Yes, 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 yes. What are you doing Absolutely. that we had to reschedule our recording? Um, there's a lip sync thing going on. Oh, yeah, word. so uh, people at home don't know. You you won't know, but I had to reschedule a little thing. Uh, there, there's a lip sync thing I was invited to. Uh, and I got tickets for it, and I was just like, "Yeah, let's see if we can nudge the little dick around a little bit." Yeah, and we nudged some dick, man. And, uh, yep, and we're good. Sweet. So I, I I have the pleasure of recording this uh, a day early with the gents right now, but so people uh, at home might not know. Tell so. me more about this lip. It's, it's not karaoke, was it? Like a, like air guitar type shit? No, it's a it's a, a charity thing. I think okay that, uh, benefits some people, and it's just a uh, you know a bunch of uh, kids having a good time. Yeah, I think it's just uh, nature of lip sync. It's just you know pick your pop song. It doesn't it doesn't necessarily have to be a pop song. What are you doing? It's just a bunch of kids having a me. Yeah. Oh, I'm not in it. I'm just in the crowd. What? Oh, what the hell? I thought you were in it. Were yeah. Like, some... No, sorry. No, oh. no. I'm. Okay. I respect. Well, this is my vacation, you Spears. asshole. <laughs> I'd not. I'd probably do Katy Perry. Circle Which one? Train. But Circle of Train. Okay. Um, not a lot. Of, not a lot of people know that one. That's a good I like, one. I like yeah. extraterrestrial. That's an ET. ET is a good one. Yep. Uh, Peacock. That's always fun. Firework. But, um, that's the only one I. Absolutely. Know. Absolutely. Yeah. That's in there too. There you go. Get it. Get it. Um, Get some Katy Perry in you. Love it. Yeah. No. 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 Yeah. All that's right. Good stuff. Yeah. Awesome. Hey, they actually, it, a time. it works out that we're recording a day early because I got to edit and everything, get everything done a day early. Taking mm-hmm. this weekend, I meant I alluded to this last week, but you did, yeah. Taking well, taking you said it out right after we after we. Oh, did I? We're assholes. Yeah, you said it out right. I don't. But the really thing is, I don't remember. remember. You were doing something with the boy. Me and the big boy. Me and the older boy. We're Love going, the boy. Going to Dover, Delaware. We're going to to see a NASCAR race again. Uh, driving down there, we got a hotel like right right next to the the the, the motor speedway. So we're staying good the night, time. and then we're gonna drive back. Yeah, it's be a good time. Real good time. Never been down there. How uh, how much of a road trip is that with your boy? It's about it's about four four and a half hours, depending on. The That's traffic. a good road trip. Yeah. That's a good road trip. Yeah, it's our first. It's our first road trip uh, of 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 the sort. Uh, I got the I got the track passes as well, so we get down there mm-hmm. like in in the in the pit area and on the track. So it's got like nine degrees of banking in the front stretch, Cody. Uh, you're skipping. You're skipping like the main event oh, here. The that? main event is you co- somehow coming up with four hours worth of dad jokes. I don't know how you're going to do that on such short notice, AI Cody or interns. Yeah, Randy and I have been figuring this one out the past couple of days. Uh, how we're going to get this one? Oh, going. I so see. The, the interns see. have have focused some attention to uh, in my. He's going to play our wildly wildly popular new game with his son. Yeah, the whole way. Yep. Uh, but first. Bullshit. So. <laughs> so, Cody, I have a question to ask you. All right. I'm going to Delaware. All right. Right. And which is near Maryland. And we all know Maryland mm. is super famous for crabs, right? The Chesapeake Bay is near, uh, is yes. near Delaware, I think. Great sandwiches. Great uh, yeah. soft shell crab. I've right. never had it. But. So, next to the hotel that we're staying at, okay, right there at, in, in Dover, Delaware, there is a Japanese uh, hibachi steakhouse. There's Damn. also. A uh, tasty crab house or some shit. It's a crab house. Mm-hmm. I can get hibachi anywhere. Mm. Like I have to go to the crab house, right? Yeah, I, yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, I would absolutely park it, park her there for the. Well, uh, are you allergic to seafood? No, I'm not a pussy. Oh. No, he would. It wouldn't be an option to discuss <laughs> Randy if he was allergic to seafood. I mean, it's how, worth how would the, the risk? <laughs> from in my opinion, how, for some seafood. It, wait, the boy is the boy with you for this? Yes. Does the boy like seafood? Yes. He, the boy likes seafood. Interesting. Yeah, so I that's think... A u- I think that's it's a unique good. boy. No, so All right, so I think we settled on So it'd be the crab house. Uh, and, and All right, the next question. Codes, you know my son, he has a... He oh, has get, a, a, get, get, a, get a lobster roll. I feel like I should no, have played thinking with your dickman. That's mean. No, uh, yeah, this is our, our... See, we can skip thinking with your dickman tonight, so we're going to do this. Um, I've asked you guys how to find my trip. Uh, shit, what was I going to ask you? 
Fuck, I forgot. Uh, I said something stupid about the long, the wrong crustacean in the wrong state. You yeah. were going to ask me about. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. So my son, you know, famously, uh, well, unbeknownst to the re- well, people know he has a YouTube channel, right? You've seen it. And I'm trying. Yeah, it's good. I'm trying to get him to make to make a video of the whole thing, but he doesn't want to because he's you know he's right now he's just worried about the weather. He's, he's checking the weather uh, every, every five minutes. <laughs> wow, you got you got a kid that worries about the weather. At the track because he doesn't want to get because of the out. track. Yeah, he's not no, I get brain that. Man, yeah, yeah, literally. Yeah, I just Cody. If I put some clips man. together when you get back to Hawaii after your vacation's over, okay. will you make it pretty? Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Sure. I'm bored. Thanks. All right. Good. He's bored. All right. I here's... don't know. Yeah. Okay. What? I was saying, like, do, when was the last time I uh, like? I don't even know if I'm like uh, currently subscribed to Adobe Premiere right now, but I'll go. I'll go fucking. Oh, oh no! They, don't, don't spend any money on me. Don't worry about it. No, 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 <laughs> no. So, You're a princess. Have you ever used the uh, what's it called? DaVinci Resolve. The DaVinci Resolve, and there's Vegas, and yeah, they they just had a new Movie Maker and, and all the other stuff. But here's the thing: I'm an old fucking asshole. That oh. was taught one way, or taught rather two ways, and will refuse to do it any other fucking way. Yeah, I have two. See, see, that's the thing. I thought I was being flexible. I was like, I'll, I'll learn these two programs, and now I'm still fucking out of the loop, like some kind of old asshole. You're because the old. new program, no, 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 no. It, it, <laughs> as, in the field of of Think like God. editing, probably, you know what I mean? Yeah. But um. No, they it just it just moves so fast. I'm all, I'm all it's like it's don't even bother like learning it. Learn it when you have to because it, like well, yeah. you're gonna learn stuff that's gonna go in and out. That's like me with everything to do with podcasting. I learned one way in 2012 and I haven't changed. Mm-hmm. Just, but that's dangerous. <laughs> I'm not saying that's the I'm not saying like the stubborn thing I'm doing is the right thing. Yeah. I know I know being stubborn is a is a is a dumb maneuver. But here I am and it's dangerous in, in but fucking consistent, Cody. We're coming up on five years of this shit. Mm-hmm. Should I wear a Rich Sigmund shirt episode. down to the race? Yes. Oof. Yeah, okay. Or what would Jesus draw a shirt if you can get one made? Uh, see. I don't, I don't have to. Crossing the streams, yeah. Yeah, I don't know that time. But that would actually go over well with these NASCAR guys. Well, no, they can't. The old NASCAR guys are all like Southern Christians. Now, these new guys are all like rich kids whose dad uh, had a way in and got them a ride. They went to school with Mr. Dickman, probably. Yeah. I've had a small yeah. focus group of Christians that have appreciated it. I love it. Cody, did you hear about this? No. Go ahead, you Randy. Got? Oh, uh, well, um, the lady that gives me medicine, I told her about it, and she thought it was fucking hilarious. Uh, and she's mm-hmm. a good Christian lady, so. Uh, and then uh, I'm thinking about pitching it to my grandma. So we'll see how that goes and if I get disowned. No, I think you should. I think that's a great idea because, listen, a lot of these pictures, right? Randy, you can go down oh, your Oh, you forgot side. Craig. I just realized. That's all right. Is everybody recording? In case Steven shows up. He's not coming through on your board? I'm well, recording. He, he said he would rather just join this way. God damn it. So, All right. Hold on a second. Jesus Christ. Yeah, All just right. bringing everything to a screeching yeah. fucking halt for this nepotism bullshit. This fucking guy is not even going to be on the show. Fucking <sighs> bitch, bitch ass motherfucker. I ain't even remember what we were talking about. Oh, the Jesus stuff. Like, you can you can take some of that stuff. You go to your local CVS, print some of that, like some canvas prints. Dude, canvas.com. What? You know what's classy that's, now? That's printing on I've glass. Learned. Ooh, print- that's, that is. Listen, Pretty on glass. those fucking, yeah. did the Jesus dog on glass? Are you fucking kidding me right now? <laughs> we can sell that at flea markets for like top dollar. Holy shit. My parents are in Italy. We just I, need like, oh, sorry. I, I sent my mom the um, the Jesus uh, in the uh, Van Gogh style. Uh, and I told dog? Her, no, no, no. It was actually a Jesus painting in the style of Van Gogh. And I told her to go to the print shop down where they are in Sicily. I said, print out like a hundred of these when you're at the St. Sebastian Festival in a couple of weeks. Boom. Sell them five euros each. <laughs> she might get stabbed. Not there. Not gonna From get the stabbed. competition. Oh. Mm, some people might be like holier than thou and yeah. stop. Yeah. I don't get any more panhandling, uh, that type of stuff, man. Like, fucking working sucks. You know what uh, I mean? <laughs> Oh, yeah. The focus group for the Muhammad version was explosive. Yeah, what happened? Yeah, that was a joke. That, that, that's the joke right there, Randy. 
Oh, hey, Randy, where are those notes I asked you to, to take for me? Oh, you asked me to take notes? Yes. Uh, I normally do really text. good at that, so. Bitch. The, yeah, hold on. Cody, talk about something thread. while I find them. Yeah, Cody, uh, Alabama, sweet home Alabama. Yeah. Or State we could flag's do, just a red X. Or we could do Cody read this copy. <laughs> Before we get started for the night. <laughs> yeah. You want to do it? Yeah. yeah. All right, I'll get the music going. Uh, sure. Settle in. Oh, okay, I got it. Well, get in line, because we're doing this now. Oh, fuck. Does it, is, <laughs> am I waiting for a cue with this, or is it just... No, no, you just go whenever you want. It's meta, this is how he wanted it. <clears throat> yeah, oh. Plunge profoundly into digital daydr- This is so fucking long, Randy. Randy. Plunge profoundly into a digital daydream with the spellbinding Oculus Rift. This bravura, <laughs> bewitching buddy of VR sorcery, will swoop your senses, spiriting you away to a whimsical world where you may wage witty wars, <laughs> woo wayward witches, or simply waltz oh with God. wily wombats. With festival. This With fantastical fables, you might. I'm reading it. How do you think I fucking feel? I'm a fucking <laughs> fried egg right now. You might misplace your mundane mortal coil. Fuck up. Buckle up, bonbons, for this flippin' future of frolicking. This is. I don't even okay. write like this, Randy. Yeah, this is terrible. <laughs> well, There's this so is much of this. It's. It's not. It was a huge so- payday for Mr. Dickman. <laughs> Bitcoin from Mr. Zuckerberg. Peek at the positively. You see now you you you've, you've like told these people to give me tongue twisters now, Randy, and it's, that's not in the spirit of reading vo. What do, what is it? What did you get? Some copy from the alliteration company? Like what the fuck? Is yeah, <laughs> this is not like there's a reason why commercials don't do this, Randy. It's because <laughs> it's it fries brains. So don't dally. I thought dapper, you were a darling. professional yeah. and could handle it, man. <laughs> I mean, I could if I had my professional fucking paycheck, maybe. Well, I I don't want to miss Nickman. Of course it did. Of course it all did. All right, just I I can't get. Long story short, there's some goddamn like VR thing you need to do. Pay us, thank you, bye. Virtual voyeurs, uh, virtual. Randy, you you loaded that up like it would fill like the 12 seconds Rem needed to grab his thing. Oh, well, at least read the last paragraph with This the is like, this is 20 fucking minutes. Yeah, I, I, I had three and a half minutes of a song, just in case. You had Did, three minutes to cover 20? How come the Google Doc just populated with what Cody said? That's weird. Someone yeah. has speech to text on? Is it me? Uh, yeah, you have. You hit the oh. dictation button <laughs> on your phone, probably. Okay. <laughs> it freaked me the fuck out. I was like what? Yeah, I was All like, right, what the hell? <laughs> we, yeah, let's not do that anymore. Okay, that was weird. So, right. why linger, ye lion-hearted lads and lasses? Snatch your Oculus Rift today by venturing to our fanciful faux frontier. Sure. www.virtualvoyagersparadise.com And just because we're flipping fond of your fantastic faces, use promo code RIFT. Fantastic 69 yep. upon vouchering for a 15% markdown on your mind meld mind melding meander. Remember life's too fleeting for the flat. What the fuck? So surf the rift, riptide to a realm of ridiculous resplendent realities. Yeah, no, there's a reason it's yeah. not all alliteration and rhymes in marketing world. Because you're supposed to be concise, not creative when you're asking people for money. Uh, I'll turn the temperature down on the uh, interns. They like you. really cool them off. Yeah. Well, no, just switch them to decaf. And yeah, I think uh, you know what fine. Cody's strengths are. Okay, so well, there's play, an Adderall play shortage too. So yeah, is that what we're feeding them? Just hay yeah. and Adderall? Yep. Hay? Who authorizes the hay? It's not in the budget. Uh, shit's expensive. We can afford right now. the Adderall, but now there's fucking. <laughs> Oh, Who's giving the interns feed? God, I hate these interns right today. <laughs> well, they're trying, Rim. All right? Yeah. Intern 1050 came up with that but first bullshit idea. 
Yeah. So. Some, some, some weeks are better than others. I think, do, is that person in the chat room, is that person ready to, to come on and say hi? Surprise. Oh, let's find out. Surprise. Potential. Mr. Guest. They just might be. Holy shit, Stephen Dickman. Back it's on the, the guy. Show. What's up? Oh, we are not worthy. Surprise, we've, um, surprise. Yeah, we've really upgraded the uh, the Dickman yacht. It's, uh, it's no and... longer mega. I heard it's colossal is the new rating for the yacht now. Where'd the money come yacht? from? <laughs> Uh-oh, we lost <laughs> Yeah, him. pretty much. Oh. Oh, no. What? Oh, we're uh, catching up. It yeah, did you already again. cash the meta check, Stephen? Fuck. Like, after the FDX collapse, I know it's been rough. Uh, so. Yeah, yeah. You know, quick quick rebounds. Uh, got a lot of connections on Wall Street and, um, you know, just uh, are you, making are you moves. Are stowing away at the White House like Hunter Biden to avoid a uh, I like that. It's not shrapnel <laughs> exploding. It's quick rebounds. There's a difference. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Yep, that's great. Yep. So, hey, so Stephen, what's what's going on with in, in in Dickman Land? Like, what's new? I know you just talked about the yacht, but like, you know, this is episode two fifty nine. Next week is two sixty. Randy reminded me it would be five years of episodes, which is insane. Wow, what do you got planned for us? <laughs> oh man, so, so many things. I, well, first on the docket is I um, just came, you know, came back to my uh, podcasting equipment here to discover that. On my last business trip for Dickman Enterprises, uh, you know, as you know, I'm very uh, well to do with anything IT related. Um, and unfortunately, while on my last business trip, uh, I got a call from an outside IT source, aka the wife, uh, and she was asking how to. Or they were asking how to. It's a weird company name. How to disable Microsoft Teams? Uh, so when I got home. Somehow my entire account and windows were overridden. Oh, no. Uh, oh. And everything was gone. So I kind of oh. had to start, start from scratch. I don't know how you go from how do oh, I disable no. Microsoft Teams to that. But uh, we're you back know, up Steven, and running. Steven, I've been written a workstation in the cloud. Uh, that way I can log into it from, you know, any computer. And I, and I don't have to ever save anything. So just an idea. Eh, yeah. Okay. Um, can I share a similar like horror IT story? Yes. Like it was, it was much, it was, it was back. Like maybe this has got to be like 10 years ago. My dad is like struggling with like, you know, porting his email to his new laptop. So I was like, Oh, let me help you. And I absolutely fucked everything up and ruined it. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> oh, it, man, it, I've done his, that his, yeah, his unread number went from like a four digit number to like, one welcome to gmail and he's like cody this is this is absolutely not right and you, uh, the it guy he's like the it guy's gonna kill me and i was just like well fuck that relationship because you pay your it guy have him fix this i'm tapping out and i'm like i'm like walking away all sassy and my dad's like well the it guy's kid has bone cancer right now and I'm like, all right, I'll come back and try and fix this then, so you don't oh, have shit. to bother him. Well, the you best just, you part about convince him it's their fault. You know, no, no, the best strength. part about um, knowing more than everybody else, anything technology related, is that you can basically just say, "I'm really sorry, but there was a hardware failure, and you lost all your information." And they don't know that you completely had to do that butchered one. it. Oh yeah. yeah, but you just say, "Oh yeah, the, I'm sorry." The hard, oh my goodness, the hard drive just took a dump. And what do they know? What do they know? Literally nothing. And uh, you just say, sorry, uh, it's your fault. Speaking uh, of one the, of my... Do you still have my hard drive, Stephen? Uh, no, it, it's... Uh, I believe it got smashed to pieces after... Because it was, it was As, opened at, up... Like you asked, Rem. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The, the, uh, data, the data has been compromised in uh, unrecoverable. I got, I got another one. Yeah, I folks. had to use that excuse once. My friend asked me to put in some RAM for him. Uh -oh. And uh, I put it in, and then, you know, I put everything back together, and his dad was standing there, and I hit the power button, nothing <laughs> happened. I put the little switch in the back, hit the power button, nothing happened, and and I was like, well, I did everything I could. <laughs> uh, I just left. Yep. Uh, he was pretty pissed. So. But my and friend got an Alienware out of it. So. Oh, that's go. funny. And you said it was hard drive failure, because it was, right? <laughs> yes. uh, it was the power Or hardware fail failure. Power su me. Well, no, it was static discharge. Whenever I put the RAM in, I didn't, I didn't use my you little You didn't ground yourself? Strap. No. You have to ground yourself. Well, I didn't know that. There really? was a YouTube back then. Yeah. 
That's a real thing? I thought people just did that because they were stupid. There's bracelets. No, there's bracelets. Oh, yeah, grounding bracelets for the, the real yahoos who are really? overly serious you, you knew the and exact don't know how to ground themselves normally. To if Steve, you just want to be able to be careless. Do you remember when my hard drive failed on my on my laptop and I had to replace it like right before the show? Like I yeah. didn't ground I didn't ground anything. I could have ruined everything. Wow. <laughs> could have. Could yeah. have. Well, nowadays the stuff's a little more robust and uh less likely to have that kind of an issue. Doesn't mean yeah. be completely careless, but nowadays oh. you can kind of get away with stuff. Right. Like you could you could be holding a balloon and rubbing it on your head. All right. Steven, how long are you yeah, staying that, for tonight? Just a few minutes. The yacht is uh we're we're in, disembarking in just a couple minutes here oh, shit. Um, okay i thought yeah. Yeah. you'd be able to stick around and and play with some of our new segments with us well i mean i've got, got another like 15 to 30 minutes before oh, okay uh, we, we take off here and head oh. over to malta for uh for the weekend malta cody look at i thought you were the fancy one cody oh cody's been frozen for like 20 minutes now yeah he's dead now <laughs> you want to do dig of the week without him um let's do thing with your dickman oh yeah I always forget that one now. Why? It's the best bumper. You want segments? Yeah. Got Although segments. voicemail, I'm going to play yeah. it. Tonight, I oh, I probably should find these, huh? I got to read them. It's <clears throat> All right. You want to send Cody a text message? Make sure he's still alive. Oh, he just disappeared yeah. off the... Good thing we turned that Craig on. All right. This is Thinking With Your Dick. I mean, Steven, you remember this segment, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, man, that bumper, that's, that one hits. That one slaps. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a banging. It's the best one we have. If, if it was a human, it would fuck. Yeah. With a dick. Okay. So uh, I'll start with number one until Cody gets back. Cody, if you, just give me a sign. If I see you're trying to get back to us. It's okay, baby. Take your time. Oh, it's cracking you and suffer. Okay, this, these all sound like the same like fucking thing, Randy. What's crack and you insufferable morons? This is Jumpy Jillian from Jenna, Germany. I'm a thirty. Okay, I'm a thirty-two year old white woman. It sounded like last week's. Oh my god, did we lose? Okay, who did we lose now? Everybody disappeared. Oh, I don't know. I was trying okay. to make my video work on the yacht. Okay, here. that's what's happening. Okay, you're sk- okay, freaking me out. All right, I'm a thirty-two-year-old white woman, and my twenty-nine-year-old Hispanic boyfriend has a thing for public sex. We're talking parks, nice. movie theaters, you name it. I'm all for a little, excitement, <gasps> but I'm scared shitless we'll get caught and arrested. How do I keep our love life spicy without winding up on the nightly news? Hmm. Huh. Huh. I mean, I've done okay. it. It's really not that hard. Yeah, same. Yeah, yeah. I lost my virginity in a public restroom. So, Co- uh, uh, Stephen, <laughs> did you know the person, Randy, or was it just like a, hey, this is a public restroom. Who's who's down? Who's DTF? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it was uh, the first way. So it wasn't like you, a, you walk into the women's yep. restroom and they're like, hey, uh, you know, you're in the wrong one, and you say, well, while I'm here, <laughs> or he, he was in one of those stalls where it said like. For a good time, be here at like three fifteen on a Wednesday. And Randy like looks down at his at the sundial. <laughs> that's uh, my favorite scene in any movie ever from Dumb and Dumber. Yes, that's what I was referencing. Yeah. I mean, no, not that not that scene. Such a the big gulps part, not okay. the one where he gets raped. Oh, okay. yeah, not that. Ah, oh, man, fuck it. I always, uh, I always thought it was a very. For for two gentlemen referred to as Dumb and Dumber, it was a very smart move sticking that. That trucker with the bill. Was it a trucker? Yeah. 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 Remember what they yeah, did? He was just like, oh, hey. Yeah. He yeah. wanted, he was just like, oh, hey, wanted, let me, let me get you beers for the table. And then he went up to the cashier and was like, yeah, he wants to pay for everything. It's and brilliant. then as, you know, he was pointing at himself to be like, yeah, the round goes here. But like, and then they stole Slim Jims on top of that. That's when I stopped, thought it stopped being classy. But that was just me. The, when Jim Carrey, he walks out of the... You're going into the convenience store at that one part. They're driving late at night. And these two dudes mm-hmm. are standing outside. And they got the big gulps. And Jim Carrey walks up to him and says, Hey, guys. Big gulps, huh? All right. <laughs> <laughs> he just keeps on going. That just kills me. Yeah, I, 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 think, that was, love, I think that was improvised. Yeah. You're going to love the AI or AI isolated <laughs> audio tonight. Oh, good. Oh, because I just yeah. I did that story before. Huh? No. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see. Jumpy Jillian, you want to have public sex? And you don't want to get caught and arrested. Um, nobody's going to arrest yep. you. Yeah. yeah. When I was 16, I got threatened with arrest once because I was getting a blowjob down by the river. Wow. Nice. Uh, yeah, but he, he was just mad he couldn't watch. 
Oh. Okay. Number two. What's up, fucktards? It's Jumpin' Jack from Jersey City, New Jersey. I'm a 40-year-old white dude who's got this thing for taxidermy. Oh, you on. have to, you can't say, you can't just say that sentence with a period. You have to explain. <laughs> yeah. uh, what the fuck? Yeah, and you read that right. What's My 43-year-old Asian wife <laughs> thinks it's creepy as hell, but I can't quit stuffing dead animals <laughs> i got a whole room dedicated to my morbid hobby how do i convince her that my taxidermy obsession is totally normal and not right. some psycho okay. serial killer shit well buddy you call your shit your morbid hobby yeah you're, you're done you yeah. can't there's nowhere left to defend you gave up all of the ground in this battle and you are here a loser with us now yeah, I don't, I don't have a problem like with taxidermy in general, but like home taxidermy is weird. Okay, so mm. your obsession yeah, start, start a business. Nah, not I've normal. seen good taxidermy out there. Yeah, I've seen bad. Like there's a Reddit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember like uh, the first kangaroo like fucking sent back to London. They just thought it was a quadruped. <laughs> so they, you know, they taxidermied it on all fours for like museum displays. Like, no, no! Oh, no, you silly English fucks. Um, yeah, no. Uh, I think the world's most expensive beer is sold is bottled in a taxidermied squirrel. What? Yeah, oh. it's like four thousand three hundred dollars a drink. I think. Or a, would you a drink bottle. that? Yeah. Um. Do I have to pay for it? No. If someone offered me, would you like a would you like yeah, a, yeah. some you squirrel beer? I'll yes. be like, absolutely, yes. Why? Okay. I mean, so so the bottle that you're drinking out of like is like out of, out of a squirrel's mouth. Like, how does this work? You, yeah, you, if you were if you were to drink directly from the bottle, you would be kissing a squirrel. Yes, Stephen. What do you think huh. about this? Have you tried this? Would you drink oh. from a squirrel's mouth? Randy, can oh, we get yeah. a picture in the chat? No, absolutely. It's uh, it's called Brew Dog. Brew Dog. We we have it here on the yacht yeah let's um, get a picture of the they shot. they actually have them um they they sell them not just a taxidermy squirrel but they have outfits as well <laughs> tuxedos um yes and it is very alcoholic so you get bang for your buck it's stylish and effective there we go oh my god that's hard. i don't see why not I, it's, it's top of the list for us i'm not the paying for that prizes. If anyone is, if anyone like, aside from like the straight street offered me that, I'd be like, yeah, sure. Can you? Is there a head that comes with it, or is just the bottle top? Like, is the yeah. head? The bottle the top is there. protruding from the mouth of. Oh, it's oh, oh, I see. I, I didn't enlarge. Oh, I see it. Oh my so god! You do look it's, look a little bit like you're uh, making out with a, a squirrel. Is but Kristen it, really drinking brew dog right now? What a style! Not one of those, but oh. a brew dog beer. Uh, we we got it at Sam's Club. But, uh, yeah, Steven, while I got you here, can I point you for my next contract negotiation coming up for season six? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I need insurance on my dog. I, he just, he just graduated a uh, basic obedience training and that's a huge investment. So I wanted him taxidermied upon death. I want that in my next contract. And what you going to do nightstand or can we, just, can we make wine in him? Coat rack? Well, I'm going to move him around the house uh, throughout the day, so it feels like he's still... So uh, it's extra traumatizing. Yep. I like this. It's like some weird <laughs> fucked like up version of Elf trauma. on the Shelf. Yes. <laughs> You're going to use his tail as like the handle to push him with? and put, Like a vacuum? You, you need to put a bottle opener like in his jaw. Ooh. Yeah, Ooh, maybe his a, butthole. Yeah. We you should make him. The I wanted to avoid that, but oh. okay, Ram. We'll definitely make him multi-use. So the first things first, you you attach Roomba to the bottom so he can still move around the house <laughs> as yeah. as he normally would. Um, so no, 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 clean no. Four the Roombas. Yes. Four Roombas, one for each paw. <laughs> well, I, that <laughs> might take a little a little bit of programming in IT uh, work yeah. to get the four to yeah, work yeah. in unison. If this, then that. If you com. have four Roombas working in opposite directions, you might have a lot of problems. Um, they just duct tape everything together. The Roomba's going to business for themselves. They're feuding. There's <laughs> feuding Roombas. It's like you put a knife in Otis's mouth. Pro wrestling. <laughs> yeah. No, we can get some kind of weird fucked up battle bots contract going, I bet. <laughs> oh, yeah. You got any other dead animals we can put in there, Randy? Put, put fucking what saw animals? Yeah, my tail. friend uh, bro, just lost his raccoon. Okay. Yeah, that was, he was a big son bitch. I'd like, like to see if raccoon, raccoon corpse like breathe fire. 
Okay. A little fl- flamen Ooh. warfare raccoon versus like a raccoon you know dragon? Otis. When you know this is this is of course when Otis is you know loved dead and gone. You know what I mean. So this isn't this isn't an appropriate. Yeah, we're hoping to get twelve years out of him at least. Are you going to well, buy no. investments? Are you going to buy the next Otis the day he dies? Yes, that's our new move. Otis two point oh. <laughs> well, this transitions really well into uh, the the next Rich Dickman Enterprises um, venture, which is we have have started the a, a new business. <clears throat> You'll be able to purchase these on the the website soon, but yes, if your beloved pet dies, uh, you send it to uh, Rich Dickman uh, Enterprises. Um, we will uh, then use animatronics to <laughs> basically reanimate it, um, so that you you can live with your animal forever. Um, it this won't behave a hundred percent the same, but it does is- have voice activated commands. This is a horrifying new science called necrotronics. I think, like, it's real. And <laughs> necrotronics, yeah, Steven? yeah. They're my using grandparents, it's trademarked. We've trademarked yeah. it. My They're grandparents using... buried their dog Skippy four years ago. Can we dig him up and re reanimate him? Yes, but and we put battle bots. But things we on. cannot guarantee <laughs> the, the the quality of the exterior. That's that's up to the the sole provider. Uh, he was blind anyway, so battle bot pets. Yeah, and then when you get five of them, or no, when you get ten of them, you can have like five on five, like Megazord join up robots. Oh my god, that's you know amazing. what I mean? Like so, yes. like yeah, Otis could be like the left shin of like you know the, oh. your eventual Megazord. They're like combiner transformers, Whoa. or when the yeah, GoBots. So, but you need ten. That that's the trick because you need five to v- like face five. Right, right. Okay, Damn. they can get team names and shit like Predacons, fucking Stunicons. Yeah. Like yeah. Team Man, Voltron taxidermy. versus Team Megazord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. All right, that's good. Yeah, do, yeah. rock on with your taxidermy. One more. Write all this down, somebody. Yeah, yeah Jumping Jack, write all this down and start a taxidermy business. Well, or, no, specifically, or, like, get your foot in selling beer. Well, no, no, beer's already taken. Come so I don't know. Try Dickman Enterprises. Try to sell, like, schnapps out of, like, a dead squirrel or something to get your foot in the door. <laughs> and then, you know, it'll get better from there because you're, you're, you're selling schnapps out of a dead <laughs> animal to start. But he's fucking writing these things when you dick pets. Rich Dickman, dead pets. Is that a good I like episode it. title? Uh, Write that down for or, me. I'm gonna do or that. Dickman Pet Cemetery, or I don't know. Are we doing another one or moving on to Dick of the Week? Well, boys? Let's move on. Fuck this shit. <laughs> I don't like Wednesday shows. It is now time to introduce this week's finalist. Score. Well, I have to go do a lip sync thing to myself. Yeah, Fuck you, Amber. No, it's fine. I'm glad you're having fun, bud. All right, you want Swinson to go first? Uh, yeah, all right. Hey, Rem, Cody, Randy, and all oh. the glorious bastards making the Rich Dickman show my go-to ear candy. This is Svensson, the dick sleuth supreme, with a batshit crazy dick of the week nominee to blow your freaking mind. Pop some corn. I love everything about it. Dive into this dick <laughs> so there's this Hicktown community center with classes for yokels to learn cool shit or have a hobby. <laughs> a pottery class just ended, and Mr. Clay Fuckup, our nominee, sauntered in. Mr. Clay Fuckup wasn't part of the class, but had a raging hard on for pottery. <laughs> With everyone going, he made his move. He spotted a pristine vase, a real labor of love, and like an ass clown, sat down to play with some clay. Our boy's pottery skills were dog shit. And in no time, it was a full blown shit show. Clay splattered uh-huh. everywhere, and in one jaw dropping fuck up, he smashed the beautiful vase to smithereens. The vase's creator came back for their work only to find soul-crushing destruction. <laughs> Mr. Clay fuck-up got an earful, but this prick didn't give a flying fuck. No apology, no compensation, just a smug mm. shrug before waltzing out. <laughs> so, I nominate Mr. Clay fuck-up for his douche-tastic disrespect, what breaking boundaries and not owning his epic cock-ups, making him the one, the only, the dictacular dick of the week. Keep rocking the show. Can't wait to hear you tear this artsy train wreck a new one. Svensson, out. All right, mm. number one, I like that Svensson seems to be more emotional. It's aggressive. Voice. Yeah, wow. he's, got, he's got a lot more Powerful. inflection and, and uh, punctuation going on, so that's cool. Uh, number two, what the, what was Svensson doing there? Oh, uh, Svensson, Svensson never needs an out. excuse Being to be judgmental. So yeah. That's literally his yeah. shtick. <laughs> Being judgmental. It, and the cadence. I can't get over the cadence. Oh, my God. It's at least he didn't you know, steal a joint and assault somebody this week. <laughs> yeah, or the, or slurs. Progress. Yeah, yeah, lots of slurs. He All was right. saying cockwomble a lot. I'm glad. Oh man, 
beep, 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 beep. So, so some some guy was screwing around and, and broke pottery. Is that what happened? Yep, and it really hurt somebody's feelings because uh, they had worked on okay. it for six weeks. Well, I don't care about anybody's feelings. So, Svensson, you, you got you got a lot of work to do here. All right, let's get into or uh, uh, excuse me, I'm sorry, Cody. Unless you had something you wanted, <laughs> you wanted to say about this. Um, actually, I'm sorry, really fast. Sorry to cut yeah, you off, but Cody. just so you know, oh. that is reanimated Svensson 2.0. Working, pr- that is literally live action reanimated animatronics AI so, Svensson 2.0 right there in action. That, that's the promo for the uh, reanimated uh, pets. There you go. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, Love it. Thank nice, you. Steven. We weren't going to keep that a secret forever. <laughs> <laughs> it's very obvious you've killed the man and replaced him. You can actually order I, I, one. I didn't want to say anything because of you know the lawsuit, but hey, I had to go in on now. fucking Thanksgiving and destroy documents because of this, Stephen. Well, no, you can actually go on the website richdickman.com slash shop and order your own Spenson 2.0, 2.1, 2.2, 2.3 uh, Did today. Did you something on the website without telling me? Well, mm-hmm. when we yeah. have all the source code on GitHub. Okay. Is that secure? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The actual dick of the week. Well, not act. That, that we might be the first dick. things that like Already let AI play. through the fucking <laughs> filter. But whatever. When AI takes over, we're going to be like their parents. <laughs> we'll, we'll be the human. It's not parent. We're going to be the. <coughs> hey, no, we're just the. As long as they're attached right the, off. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to be the guys that let them through. Which is like, whoops, we were supposed to be looking out for those, weren't we? <laughs> Oh well, yeah, that's I humanity. Hope, oh, that's, you just remember me. <laughs> that's your yeah. You're like that's your AI fuck up. Yeah. You raised them right. poorly. As soon as you, as as you get four fucking Roombas on us on the hey, same team, we're dead. Stephen, <laughs> let me ask you a question real quick. Stephen, are, are, do you plan on being racist towards robots? Because I do. That's not oh. racism. What that's is just, it? The, it'd be robotism. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, fuck robotism. robots. Yeah, I'm gonna oh, that guy walking down the street. And be like, fuck you, piece of shit. Like, right to yeah, the face. I programmed you but, not to feel hurt, so I'm going to call you all types of slurs, you android. Well, it's really, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's really humanity playing chess when everyone else is playing checkers, which is uh, the robots will unite our hatred. So we, we aim the racism at the robots, mm-hmm. and all the other races unite to hate the robots. That's yeah. how it works. That's just how it yeah. works. Because they That's suck. These robots humanity. are terrible. We'll have some chrome Rubas. robots, right? And then we'll have some, like, uh, I don't know. We'll have some copper robots, and they'll just fucking hate each other. Oh, yeah, Cody, they will. would they, you? They won't even look at humanity. Cody, Program would you prefer robots that looked like um, the Will Smith movie or the Doctor Who robots, the Cybermen? Mm. Uh, the Cyber, the Cyber, uh, Cyber or the Will Smith mm-hmm. robots. I forget the name of that movie. This, they're both pretty unsettling. I robot. I robot. Thank yeah, you. the I robot. I robot seems. Yeah, the Cybermen have have nothing to do with like being appealing to humanity. They the, they don't even have to be like humanoid Cybermen, but like I feel like at least Sunny was like designed to like interface with humans from like Will Smith's I yeah. robot. I think I robot. <coughs> they look nice. They look they look like they could be nice because they have curves. Um. Yeah. 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 And it, uh, it they had Asimov's law going for them until it they didn't spoilers yeah um but it doesn't there, there's no asimov's law in fucking cybermen no 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 because it's yeah all right so first story is is up there codes oh randy what i didn't even see what it was when i hit paste oh shit i didn't either fucking interns okay uh-huh. so we're going to they're fired uh well, we fire him every fucking week, and it never gets any fucking better. AI clones teen girl's voice in one million kidnapping scam. There we go. I've got your daughter. <clears throat> Holy shit. What? <laughs> <clears throat> it was a dead ringer for her daughter. Artificial intelligence has taken phone scams to a frightening new level. Yeah, your loved ones can scream for you in the middle of the night now. Fuck, Randy's going to do that to my family now that he has my voice AI. Yours too, Cody. Uh, I don't think I'm worth that much money. Coca plants. I'm, that's not I me. I just want that medal mom. of honor, motherfucker. I got like I'm a, I'm worth about like thirty seven bucks. So uh, an hour. That's why I haven't been kidnapped. No, no, just thirties. <laughs> like I just want your weed. <laughs> yeah, that's about 
That's about eighteen dollars worth of of that thirty seven though. <laughs> yeah, Mary would agree with all this. <laughs> We're just like like driving through the hood and you steal the car because the rims were three grand, the cars were forty eight dollars, <laughs> something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, it's a fucking Pinto. You know what I mean? Ralph and, and that's when I'm like working out. I feel like I'm worth eighteen dollars when I'm like when I've been working out. This is no. This is just mm. this is macaroni and cheese. Like you know how mint is top tier? I'm this is just Cody, you're worth you're worth at least a hundred dollars to me, bud. Okay. Maybe pesos. Maybe yet. Maybe I I'm worth a hundred yet. I think you're being a little racist now and I don't appreciate it. No. Yeah, all money is the same, Cody, Cody. How dare you? If you ever need to borrow two hundred dollars and ghost me, I get it. No, nah, I'm know. good. <clears throat> yeah, uh, that's what happened to my last, you know, good friend from home. I mean, you keep offering it, and why are you surprised it happens? Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just like you make it really easy to, uh, you know, be your thief. Well, Randy was your last friend from Hawaii. AI. Oh shit! From IAEA? <laughs> no, because I went to a Waffle House once and kind of cheating on his wife. Ah, uh, there is an AI in Hawaii. No, damn, Steven. There's, mo- there, there's two. We've there's missed two sets one. of AIs in Hawaii. The layers. Oh, damn. All right, here's the last story. The this one's falling off the uh, rails here. I don't know what's happening. Yeah. <laughs> you, and then the people at home don't even know what the first fucking option was. <laughs> Bid.do slash TRDS1. Yeah. Can they? No, they can't. Can they see that from there? Yeah, they come to the, the Discord. They'll see it. Every, all the oh, okay. Yeah, Discord. yeah, yeah. That's right. You put in the disc. I yeah. forgot. Um, <laughs> Belgian authorities destroyed 2,352 cans of American beer advertised as the champagne of beers because it is, in fact... Not champagne. Uh, it's not that much. It's oh. like one week supply on the Dickman yacht. Yeah, but can we talk yeah. about something a little more serious here? Is that Miller High Life calls itself the champagne of beers? Mm-hmm. Why? That's uh, bad marketing. I, That's I terrible. This, uh, yeah. Like I, uh, when I see when I, Miller High Life, high class? what do you think of when you think of Miller High Life? I think of my sixty-three-year-old Italian grandfather in those stupid glass bottles of his Miller High Life that he drank, and then he had a heart attack and died. But what, is, well, what me, does one do while you drink Miller High Life? What do you I do? Feel it's like watch a soccer game. No, it's it's, it's some to- type of shorts, a wife beater, maybe a cigarette sitting if you smoke, porch. sitting on your porch, mm-hmm. drinking a Miller High Life. In but, How cold are they? Let, let me let me counter your uh, Not question, there, Rim. Yeah. What do you think of when you when you want champagne, but you want beer? When you're like, I'm kind of in the mood for champagne, but all I've got is beer. Then what do you think of Zima? <laughs> <laughs> that's a good answer. That's, that's actually, actually very good. Yeah. Yes, that's that's actually Fuck yeah, it is. Yeah. Method. Anything right. seltzer, anything is literally the answer. So I think I think this is actually probably uh, Belgian Belgians on to something. Yeah, Bel- the, I, the I just don't Belgians. appreciate a bunch of Europeans breaking something that's American. That's all. Um, how- so it reminds me of Papa Butch. Yeah, what happened there? And he beat my grandma. Oh, yeah. like physically or in a race? Yeah, they were having a, what do you a think, sack man? race, Rem. Yeah, it was <laughs> a sack race. They were having it a, was a three-legged race. There was a three-legged race, and, and he accidentally pulled his fucking hand into a huge goddamn fist and was like, oh, God, this needs some kind of home. And he just looked at I his wife, and it was just like, improvise. I don't appreciate you guys finding comedy in domestic violence. So I was talking, no, he was punching potatoes, you sick fuck. Why did yeah. you take it there, Rem? You oh, weird! Thought, oh, oh, that's so thought, distasteful. Thought, Why thought, would you even? I thought that's what you guys were doing. I thought Papa no, beat, beat a bitch. No, no sack races in potatoes, mashing potatoes. I'm so yes. confused. This is like that time Mike had to fill out a questionnaire about his daughter, and didn't know what he was answering anymore after the hundred and sixtieth question. <laughs> yeah, it gets weird. <laughs> yeah. It's like yes, I will be an anatomical yeah. donor. Wait, how did I get here? Yeah. It's like, does does your daughter does your daughter like to dance? Does your daughter sing? 
does your daughter like to draw? Does your daughter do drugs? Like, there's groups of five questions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like those sandwich compliments. They're just trying to catch you off guard, though. Yeah. So, you know, it, it's, a, it's a piece of bread. Bologna. Bread. Yeah. An extra bologna on the outside. Yeah. And it, you know, they, they use different ways of asking the same question, you know? And so you finally get to, like... Expe- explicitly confusing. Like, does your daughter never yeah. not do any sort of type <laughs> drug, maybe? Yeah. Is your daughter weird? Is your daughter weird? Fuck yeah, she's weird. She's weird as fucking daughter. <laughs> What the fuck? So, I, I know you guys have all taken these tests because Rich Dickman Enterprises requires it. But uh, oh. let me know your your thoughts on how you take those personality tests. So, as like, honest like, as possible. Like, yeah. So, uh, whenever I've taken them, you, you get into that like neurotic mode of like, okay, I know what they're asking, so I'm going to answer oh, yeah. like this. And then you're like, oh, wait, 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 wait. Did they ask this question before, but in a different manner? And then you get into this war- rabbit hole of every question takes you like 30 minutes to answer because you're like, wait, how did I answer the last yeah. one? This was or what do, I, what do I want them to vu. think that I am? Yeah, that whole thing. You guys, you guys ever done those? Yep. Yep. Yeah, we know exactly Rim, you what remember about. doing the Myers Briggs with Jules? Uh, yeah, kind of. Yeah, I'm an INTJ. Oh, that type of shit. Yeah. Um, an IS on the disc profile. Oh, fuck this. Yeah. Uh, I have to, you know. You want me to hit the outro? Yeah, here, yeah hit the outro. Here at the Rich Dickman Enterprise, I actually have to teach new employees how to read those things. So I know them, Stephen. You know this. All right, Stephen, who's your dick of the week this week? Stephen. Uh, basically, everybody. Oh, oh shit. Um, I forget what, the, uh, what, what were the choices again. <laughs> I got something. <laughs> what was your wife's hot uh, ass walking by? The voice voice cloner scammers, hostage people. Yeah. Uh Svensson. Svensson's uh, pottery. Pottery yeah. asshole. Oh, and then we have uh Belgian people Belgians. destroying our beer. Definitely definitely Belgium and uh destroying beer. Um It's not it was never champagne. Yeah. I don't know. I, everyone knows this. I don't know how the Belgians just never got the memo. Well, so so I agree with the premise of what they're doing. But you just don't destroy things American. No, right. you just That's you're right. like, oh, this is what this is. <laughs> Fucking deal. Not not, you know not, I mean? not answer for it, Belgium. Yeah. yeah. We're coming. Here's the for thing. You. Here's the thing. If I ever go to a goddamn like sandwich shop and I ask for a turkey and I get a salami, I'm not gonna throw out the salami. You know what I mean? I'm like, oh, it's actually this. Maybe I can still have it. You know what I mean? I just enjoy it with like, you know, new eyes. Yeah. If I just throw it out, no one has a sandwich. So yeah. it's just like, I, I don't know. Well, I would I mean, just I'd tell like, Belgium to learn a thing or two from Switzerland and just be neutral on this. Just uh, let it let it slide, you know? Yo, you see that fence post? Put it in your anus. Straddle it. Beer, neutral. It. Yeah. I mean, the real dick of the week here is Miller High Life calling her fucking shit champagne and <laughs> beer for so long. There you go. Uh, yeah. Well, okay, here's the thing. What, what are we going to what's what are we going to run into next week? The Belgians are like you know, crack open some like chicken of the sea, and they're like, <laughs> Wait, Wait, whoa, 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 no, hold on, no, 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 this is fish. This is someone has to die for this. Like, I don't, what is, the, yeah, all right. I think right. the takeaway is that Belgium, these are just not bright people. Yeah, Belgium, you're dick of the week. I think we're all, yeah. we're all unanimous here. You're dick of the week. No, no, and hopefully, no, this prevents I'll take you. that back. I'll take that back. It seems like you just hire Belgian customs is not that it's full of not bright people. That's also, yeah. I'll, I'll save the country. Your customs seem like they're full you, of You're too right. nice, Cody. Just blame everybody from one person's no, actions. It's always the group's no, fault. There, there's Pete. No. No, that's no, what no. I this learned. Is some, this is some autistic no, pencil pusher that got a government job. He's like, why is the beer not champagne? Holy fuck. And he, he's, he almost kills himself, but he's like, no, wait, I can just fill a form out. Yeah. Oh, no, Belgium will- is literally every comment that says, you used the wrong version of there. Grammar police. <laughs> like, they're the people oh, commenting this. See? You know what I mean? That's Belgium yeah. right there. Yeah. Fuck, fuck Belgium. Dicks. Yeah. Hey, look at this. Shout out spheres. to our people in Saudi Arabia. What would Jesus draw dot com? I think. 22%. And, and here's the wild thing. I think there's actually a huge technicality on what, like, the culinary, like, like school considers what champagne is. Bubbly wine. Like, I feel like from, like, Champagne, France. Yeah, but now it's but just bubbly wine. So, like, I have no idea why, like, Belgium is like, wow, why is, 
why, why is fucking bubbly wine from France coming out of America? It's like, whoa, let's see. Oh. And they're like, no, this is all wrong. <laughs> 2,325 cans. Hops. Smash what? them all. So- so what I got to say is Belgium reminds me of when Subway's bread got banned in Italy because it wasn't bread. Um, yeah, it, same thing. It's an overreach. It's an overreach, but. But we all knew it. This was never bread. I got to go with Svensson's guy because you can't destroy someone's hard work. They put their soul into that. Yeah, That's Belgium. Different. Exactly. Well, I mean, machines made the beer. No, it's honest. in Milwaukee. They still have people in Milwaukee. God oh, do them. they? Yeah. Yeah, I mean maybe. Well, Laverne also, and Shirley, this, happy days. This begs the question: so they just destroyed like twenty three hundred roughly cans of beer. Yeah, that's yeah, it's a it's a fair amount, but um, it's not that many. Like, is that all of the Here's Miller the High Life being sold in that well, area? Well, that's why that's I, the, this is that's why it? it's a dick of the week because it's you annoying. That is? number's annoying. <laughs> Gentlemen, I, I I've 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 found it out. I found it out. This this is some like, this is some like customs guy that's responsible for destroying stuff. And when he has to destroy something, he okay. just drinks it. Oh, like his wife down. cheated you know, on him th- with yeah. somebody that works for Miller. <laughs> no, I, I'm saying like this is probably just some thirsty guy that's just like, no, I've got to destroy all this. Glug 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 glug. <laughs> You that's know, what I'm thinking I'll is take happening. Take back. Yes, they're destroyed. Yeah, not. Oh, it's not gone. The beer factory. <laughs> they are definitely oh, twenty three hundred cans gone. <laughs> Rim, you want to do voicemails? <laughs> we got that's, voicemails. That's, that's what's we got one. But but party at my place tonight. Uh, you bring. Or do you want to save it? <laughs> Don't no one bring beer. Yeah, let's uh, save, save the voicemail to to the end of the show. There. But, okay. Yeah, here we go. We still have Steven. Let's do something fun. Hi. Oh shit! I'm a little dumb. You spent this up. You need to listen to this podcast segment now. Forty-eight. Stephen, I don't know if you've been listening lately. Stand by. <laughs> All right, here we go. But, law one: never outtrain the master. Law two: never put too much. <laughs> and Cody, what is this week's <laughs> law of power? Hey, good. That's perfect. Less law more. thirty-two: play to the people's fantasies. The truth is often avoided because it is ugly and unpleasant. Never appeal to the truth. And reality, unless you are prepared for the anger that comes with disenchantment. Yep. Life is so harsh and distressing that people who come, who can manufacture romance or conjure up fantasy, are like oasises in the desert. Everyone flocks to them. There is great power in tapping into the fantasy of the masses. This is dictatorship. It's right, but it's dictatorship. Laws of power. And I don't Cody, know why we're teaching. Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> little Machiavellian in here. Somebody open a window. But this is weed and mushrooms too, man. Like legalize that shit. And we're just happy. Like mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you're unfamiliar with the term opiate of the masses, aren't you? Yeah. Okay. That's fair. That's totally fair. What does it mean? It just give the people what they want, so we do anything under their noses. And it oh. used to be opiates, so it's just like it could be done with weed and mushrooms, maybe. Yeah, that's that's exactly what's happening. Give the people what they want, no. say shut up. No. Yeah, uh, but uh, the, just so everyone knows, like, oh, Cody, that's not what it means. It's just opiates of the masses could uh, be not drugs too, like rock and roll. Yeah, and uh, I don't know, religion. All right, sure, and, and think think of these fucking guys, these the uh, these influencers, right? Like the the Instagram model I talked about last week. Uh, they're, they're just selling you fucking a false reality, but it's happy for you. It makes you feel good. So you're just gonna you go with yeah, it. Yeah, well, pictures are nice, but yeah, pictures right. are Especially always shit. holy shit. either untrue or like extreme. So I, I think yeah. when Marx coined that phrase, though, he was talking mostly about religion. Yeah, that's why I doubled back to that one. Mm. Oh, mm-hmm. did you say that? <laughs> I I used the word religion in everything. It was the last. God damn, Randy. Yes, yes, Randy. It's the fucking I best know. part of the show. Dude, you don't even too pay busy attention. Googling it. Yeah, but I. All right, I was trying I to be was, a good producer. Right, but I was explaining to you. I was explaining to the people Such at home why they, did, they needed to stop correcting me because All i knew right. he had a good few weeks in a row with <laughs> no he's just being sucks. proactive but it's terrible without context. 
Like, thank God you guys are here. I think I'd be fucking crazy and just be like, ah, I'm done. <laughs> Sleeping needs to happen. It's late for you. You don't you don't normally record at this time. I know. I'm in pajamas and everything. My dick might fly out on camera. <laughs> My dear. Usually that's tucked. That's tucked right in there in shorts yeah. and uh, Please, no, boxers. No, no, Steven, you got you got some more time. You got to take off. No, uh, no I, can, I can stick around. You right, play a, a a meta bumper. I'm in. Yeah. These get longer. Oh, we got bumpers for days. Well, somebody's getting their money's worth. Yeah. They're yeah. earning their pay. In my new contract, I get paid per button. Randy, okay, what episode are we going back to? Half a bottle of whistle pig. 181, sir. 181, Cody. Randy. Steven. Here we go. I remember being like four years old and getting super high off of that in my grandma's house because your grandma doesn't know how to parent anymore. <laughs> It's not like you turned on Sesame Street and Big Bird is doing lines off of Grover and some shit. I just want to know Bird how eight-year-olds figure out how to, to snort coke. Off. Fupa for lunch, right? I'm like, my man, it's, it's for lunch. Sounds delicious. Fupa for lunch. <laughs> Amazon will give you a job and you get a robot dog. It's named Astro that will bring you a beer. If you're a safety officer in the Jedi Temple, you're the guy who's like swoop into floors like you're a Jedi, but you don't really do anything except for floors. You get a whole of those and you read the ingredients and literally like the first ingredient is love with capital L-O-V-E. I don't know what's happening to my words tonight. You got to feel the rain, not get wet. There's a difference. I'm affording you. Yeah, opportunity. Yep, I got nothing, buddy. I'm not some asshole. I'm just going to ignore you and then talk about the weather. Fucking guy. You wake up, you kick ass, repeat. That was a weird stutter. I want to introduce this sweet spot. Oh, dick of the week. And here's our first nominee. I don't know, Jeraria. What the fuck are you even asking me? Is it okay for delete her work? Sure, why not? What's the work? You know, is it kind of, I don't know, it's up to her company. Fuck you. Don't ever write again. I hate you. Why does the dude have a gun? Yeah, but why does the dude have a gun? Why are you fighting in this street with a 15-year-old? Maybe Oh, my God. You know, baby, that's not a great idea. No, is that controversial? That is that controversial? After Zimmerman killed that guy. No. Zimmer? No. Zimmerman. Oh, Absolutely know. not. Is it controversial? That was good, Randy. Good mm. job. Excellent job. Concise, sweet, one of them. Good job, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> now all we got left is... Do We're doing it. You Strap in. Art. Oh, hey. oh, brief. Oh my God, Stephen, do you want to play here? Jesus AI art with us? Do you chat GPT? Oh my God, I. We have to. We might have to write some new rules right now. Do you love Jesus? Uh -oh. Like maybe instead of the winner, when there's a guest, the guest goes first. Yep. Let's do that. <laughs> guest trumps last week's winner. We got a I like it. For you. I'm on board, Coates. What would Jesus draw? <laughs> My bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Sorry, Randy. Before that, before that, I feel like we're missing hey, it. We have a, we have a, we have a before a from Elon Musk. The usual tech and space stuff, <laughs> but trust me, it's worth your time. So what? there was a massive fire at O.J. Simpson's house in Los Angeles. And OJ was pretty concerned about one thing in particular, his Heisman Trophy. You know, oh. that prestigious award he got for being an exceptional football player. Anyway, amidst the chaos, OJ found himself in a desperate situation and decided to take an unexpected course of action. He prayed to Jesus, asking him to save his precious Heisman Trophy. Now bear with me here because this is where things get really interesting. Yeah. The sky darkened and a brilliant light shone down from the heavens. Lo and behold, Jesus Christ himself descended to the scene. <laughs> Unfazed by the raging fire, Jesus walks straight into the burning house as if it were merely a simulation. And, you know, with our advancements in Neuralink technology, maybe one day we can simulate this kind of experience for people. But I digress. Inside the trophy room, Jesus found the Heisman Trophy, miraculously unscathed by the music. fire. He retrieved it and walked back out to OJ, who was stunned by the otherworldly <laughs> intervention. As he handed the trophy back to OJ, Jesus imparted some wisdom. You've got a lot of sins, but there's still time for redemption. <laughs> Learn from your past and become a better man. Delete your Twitter. A powerful message indeed. And with that, Jesus ascended back into the heavens, 
leaving OJ with his trophy and a renewed sense of purpose. It's a fascinating story, right? It makes you wonder about the intersection of faith and science and whether there are forces at play beyond our current understanding. As we continue to explore the cosmos and push the boundaries of technology, maybe we'll uncover more of these mysteries. Who knows? All right. What's that apropos of? All right. Yeah, what's going on? I'm all good. That was the intro second. for your prompt because you won last week and I thought you were going first. Oh, oh. I fucked everything up. Yeah. So, okay. and this is the music that plays now. Uh, I pick a different music every week for the background while we do the segment. You told me to do that, that was, at some point. That was well timed. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, yeah. Excellent work. Majestic. Yeah, that was live too. They were both different <clears throat> buttons. Yeah, so uh, what was the prompt for last week then? Oh, the prompt was Jesus Christ Firefighter. Jesus Christ Firefighter. Okay. And so mine was, what I had asked for was fucking... Uh, Jesus Christ on a fire truck ladder rescuing <laughs> OJ Simpson's Eisman <laughs> Trophy from a fire at night. Okay, let's see it. You have All to right. like forward it so we know we can appreciate it. Okay, you got it. There you go. <laughs> and the live show. Oh, what? Hold on. Jesus turned out to be the Heisman Trophy. He's, Jesus is the Heisman Trophy in a yeah. firefighter suit. <laughs> Come on down to our Discord if you're listening to this, just as an audio show. But this is yeah. amazing. What would Jesus draw? Com. Slash TRDS one. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, so yes. Jesus is on top of a ladder truck, and he's in his uh, yellow firefighter uh, uniform, you know, a firefighter suit, and he's bronze. <laughs> the craziest thing is that it's like a platform ladder with the side view mirror on it attached to the front of the fire truck, <laughs> which obstructs the view out of the windshield. I, I, whoever designed this fire truck is amazing. And the fire truck's <laughs> on fire, yet unscathed. It's a yeah, fire it seems, proof fire truck. Incredible. It seems Jesus doesn't know where the fire is. He's looking off into the distance. <laughs> he's a like, statue. Majestically. He's, a, yeah. he's the fucking nice <laughs> trophy. <laughs> Okay. Uh, All right. That's great. Randy, what's next? <laughs> All right. Next, we have Jesus Christ, the firefighter, putting out a Chick-fil-A structure fire with a fire hose, spraying red wine. Now, this one is going is to be me? controversial. Yes. Did I do that? Fuck. Yeah. So, here we go. What you got? That's <laughs> perfectly fine. <laughs> I'm on board with this. Okay. Uh, All right. So nope. we're not in a Chick Fil A. All right. There's nothing. Yes, here we are. It doesn't indicate. No. Oh. I, it's, we're it's in like a, we're in a in nice Italy. Chick Fil A. Yeah. This is a but cathedral, North Carolina. But this is the cathedral Chick Fil A. Guys, Jesus's vestments are firefighter vestments, right? There's like yeah, the vestments it's got the reflective yellow. <laughs> yeah. The, he's holding two glasses of wine. One is shooting out like a fire hose, and the top is shaped like a fire hose. And he's got another big goblet in his other hand. Fingers are messed up. Giant goblet. Yeah. That is so oversized. That's <laughs> alcoholic goblet sized. Jesus looks Can like real? John McGinley. It, and is this Chick Fil A in Rome or yeah, something like it's the best? Yeah, Asheville, North Carolina. I think. <laughs> Cody, get we got the stained glass Chick Fil A. But the stained wanna, glass, is Randy, burnt glass. At this point. Yeah. Yes. Randy, what do you get a second? I need to see the Chick fil A logo and stay in stained Love it. glass. Oh. Okay. <laughs> well, it doesn't really do logos that well. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I need, I need some kind of likeness of chicken, cooked chicken done in stained glass. Okay. When you have a moment. But All keep right. going with the show. And then mine, Jesus Christ the firefighter, marrying another firefighter so they can get health insurance. <laughs> what a deep cut, you fuck. <laughs> It's all I can think of. <laughs> it looks They're like, both Jesus. <laughs> One of them looks like um that 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 uh the uh, the um okay. Gyllenhaal. Jake Gyllenhaal. The guy in the right looks like Jake Gyllenhaal. Yep. Guy in the left looks like uh modern modern uh hip Jesus. But they got, yeah. I don't see any in the indication of marriage. I see two friends, Randy. Yeah, they look really happy. They look super like, happy. Like they look like, like their wedding movie. day. Yeah, like Chuck yeah. and Larry. Yeah, Larry and Chuck. Uh, I. It, it's I, like I, Property I, Brothers. Brothers. Yes, uh, it's like yeah, it's like if the Property Brothers uh, were, were gay. So the gayest like energy you can exude. Gotcha. 
Yeah. Steven, you can forgive me because I've watched a lot of Secession. If you haven't. <laughs> I haven't but, yet. I'll get there. Well, fuck off. All I've right? been watching Suits. Oh, Sorry. well, Suits is good, but I watched that a long time ago. It's got the princess in it. Oh, and she, oh, oh my man. God, she is Rich Dickman esque in every way, shape, and form. Yeah, oh. maybe. All right. All right. We got to mm. find a winner. Nah, no, ask uh, Steven. Wait, so, so what is the criteria for a winner in, in each of your words? We, I think we agreed uh, the other week on what best represents the prompt. So the prompt okay. here being okay. Jesus, the firefighter, and then the extra stuff we give it. I mean, I, so, I kind of got to go with the first one. <laughs> it's, it's kind of amazing. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing. He's a, he's a Heisman trophy. He's a fire truck. He's fighting fires. He, he's kind of got it all. And it makes sense. It looks like a statue you give to somebody. Yeah, yeah. Uh, obviously, uh, the Heisman, like a you Heisman. You like, yeah, but yeah. I mean, like, like if you win an award for doing something awesome, absolutely. Right. Yeah. Do you, is is Stephen the only judge this week? Or are you guys going to go to? Because I'm gonna, I, I'm, I, no. I'm going with Cody's. I like his. Oh yeah? yeah, yeah. I like Cody's myself. Well, see, now I could give myself or Stephen the win. I'm gonna give myself the win because Stephen is rarely here. And he's going to win by default anyway, because that's how we just agreed <laughs> guests were going to go. So, hey, I win. Thank you. It is an honor to hold this Heisman Trophy. That's yeah, basically 5,000 I'm tired of winning. I'm tired of winning, so I wanted somebody else to win. So Actually, I think you guys are tied again now. Oh, fuck. Okay. All right. I'm glad so we're you- both winning. Yeah. Because it's a so, contest. So here's what we're going to do. We're going we're gonna to add Steven to the prompts, okay? Steven- We'll be able to submit a prompt for whatever whatever you give us, Cody. Mm-hmm. And if Steven can join us next week, he can participate and his victory will count if he should win. But if he doesn't participate next week, if he can't come on the show, that's fine. He just forfeits mm-hmm. his spot. You know, we'll we'll review his art to see how how good it was. But he can't actually win the game. Wow. Okay. Okay. All right. I mean, that's I mean, he's the boss though, so it's kind of his. Yeah, but we can't, like, if Steven wins next week, how are we, if, and Steven can't be on the show, how are we going to get a prompt from him? I think Steven just wins, but. Like, so we have a, a winner one and a winner A? Yeah. like Or it could be, like, an exhibition win and then the title. No, no asterisks, <sighs> right. He's just the winner. Yeah. Great. I don't, I don't think you All know right. how nepotism works. If you need some oh, ideas okay. for I'm themes. I'm trying to handle it. Themes. Yeah. I got this all backward. Um, we give the theme. The winner gives the theme, and then the individuals give the prompts. So yeah. within yeah. the theme. Yeah, okay. So the honorary winner would be Stephen would give us the theme of what we're going to do next week. So if he has something he would like to see an AI make Jesus do, he could let us know now. Oh, that's And right. then, yeah. I so you. I got you. I got this all backwards. Stephen. Steven, you got the um, theme for, for this week. I, I, Jesus, AI, anything. <clears throat> All right. I think we're going to have to pull some themes from, from the show from earlier. Um, uh, Muppets. Uh, yeah. We did uh, uh, soccer, right? We well, did uh, in prison. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm thinking Jesus um, on a yacht. I like it. With a reanimated pet drinking beer. Okay, and we get to pick the setting, the beer, and the pet. Yes. Each of us has individual. Okay. So. Three unique elements that you can choose from. Where? So it's got to be on a yacht, got to be some kind of pet, and some kind of beer. Okay. Yes. All right. Nice. Okay. All right. All right, Steven, you go first. I think I, think I need like a pen and paper to write this shit down. Fuck. Little Mad Libby this week. I like it. Yeah. Interesting approach. No, come on, Rem. It's four things. You haven't been smoking that much. Nothing at all. What are you talking about? I know. That's what I meant, you idiot. All right. Uh, Steven, go ahead and make your... I have shit. Okay. Um, oops. 
I got a good one. You want me to go first? Yes, oh, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yes. Go ahead. If you're ready, go for it. Okay. Perfect. So I want hello <clears throat> a yacht with a helipad going through the eye of a needle. Just, just don't question it. In the middle of the ocean. It doesn't need to be a specific ocean, right? So Okay. Uh the beer is gonna be <clears throat> I know you said beer, but give me Zima. I need to see Jesus drinking Zima. Right. Well, what about the pet? Yeah, I was going to come back to that. I need oh, that okay. to be the uh, the beheaded cockatoo from Dumb and Dumber. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. So we're just going uh, on. <laughs> drinking. No, you, hey, how you, do you spell how do you spell the Zima? Z I M A. Yeah. Come okay. On. Come on, Randy. Zima. Look at look at Randy. Not born like barely born in the like fucking eighties. I was born in 90. Oh, my uh, God. That's He wasn't alive for the 80s. Yeah. Fucking loser. Uh, All right, with a reanimated headless parakeet. I'm ready to go. Randy, you're going to have to you're going to have to use chat GPT to enhance mine. Similar. Similar yeah. liberty. Granted. Oh, OK. Yeah. You mean the interns? Uh, uh, yep. the, yeah, the, the interns, the writing team to enhance mine. But here's, are you ready for mine? Yeah. Okay. Jesus. All right. Uh, wait, is the definition of yacht? It's a big ass boat. Okay. Big ass boat. Jesus <clears throat> uh, piloting a Targaryen warship off the shores Sorry. of okay. Valeria. What, Cody? What? No, that's fine. Off the piloting sh- a what? Targaryen warship. Off the shores of Valeria with a reanimated robot Viserion flying while Jesus is drinking a beer from a barrel. I don't think the interns know what that word would be. <coughs> that, that's why we use the interns to find out how to make that oh, wow, word work. Okay. <laughs> wow. Randy, I also wrote it uh, underneath the Cody Reed Law 32. So if you miss any okay. part, okay. Right. Jesus Christ piloting a Targaryen warship yep. uh, off the shores of Valeria with a reanimated robot Viserion. Yep. Flying while Jesus is drinking from a barrel. Yes. Beer from a barrel. Drinking beer from, from a yeah, barrel. Yeah. Fermented beer from a barrel. That's the good stuff. Drinking. I think the squirrel stuff beer is fermented. From a bear. Jesus Christ. Fermented. Okay. Beer from a bear. Steven, uh, Randy, do you have a prompt? Are you ready to go, or you, do you need Steven to work his out? Oh, if Steven's got to go. If not, I can. <clears throat> I, I might have two of them. <clears throat> First one. You can only do one. Oh, you guys suck. <laughs> do the best. Just I write the, the rules around here, worlds. motherfuckers. <laughs> All right, so we're I'll doing. I'll make you too, Stephen. Whatever you say, sir. A banana boat yacht. Oh shit! <laughs> With a okay. elephant as a pet, petting an elephant, drinking Bud Light. With Dylan Mulvaney. And I, it, that wasn't circulated. And, did you know that? Oh I did goodness. know that. And I am yeah. so curious to see what AI can pull from the Republican Party animal being petted while drinking a Bud Light <laughs> mashed together into the AI. Like this is the AI is gonna have a field wow. day trying to figure out how to make this work. I Let's love it. Let's get started a war. Gun. It it could, the AI is about to start World, World War Three. Yes, I love that we're the ones training it. Yeah, that's great. Okay, Randy, do you have a problem? No one told us not to. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, no cop was ever like, "Hey, don't fucking like give AI that shit." It's like, okay. <laughs> no, no guidance counselor told me to knock this shit off. I know. I, I didn't even know it was a possibility. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's no one's fault. I ain't no. I ain't no. All right, Randy. No. All right. That just happened, Jesus officer. Christ. Yep. On a billion dollar yacht. Oh. That's a cheap yacht. Oh, is it? On a multi 
Yeah, that's Tilly not a yacht. Not a yacht. It's a rowboat. Yeah. What are you doing? Fuck off. I don't know. <laughs> Randy yacht. doesn't know how much a yacht, yacht. takes. Yeah. Get wealthy. Yeah. <laughs> I hear the 10 million's like the worst. That's probably where I'll end up. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's not enough to do anything with it. No. But it, it, and it's not enough to really live like you're It's enough to anything. insure it. Yeah. Yeah, sure. the, yeah. The monetary value starts with an M instead of a B or a T. Yeah, get out of here. Yeah. On a multi billion dollar yacht, uh, filming. A TikTok with a reanimated, long-haired Chihuahua <laughs> named Skippy uh, while drinking a white claw, uh, berry flavored. <laughs> you know damn well. If Jesus was an influencer, he would hold the camera lens through like his stigmata. Just oh, to totally! Have, like a yeah. cool, just to have a cool vignette. He'd have a shirt made, and it'd be like the stigmata. You know? Yeah, yeah, the stigma. Just, you. Uh, yep. All right. So that's Jesus AI, uh, Stephen. If you can come back next week, that'd be cool. You can see what your results are. We'll give them to you anyways. Sure. Uh, but if you're not here next week, uh, what's the website they show yeah. up on? You can win. Bonus image for anyone in the Discord. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll talk just, scheduling. I don't know why I made There's that. Possibility. What would Jesus draw? Dot com. Check it out. All right, go check it out. All right. That, uh, what's what's Did that image? The, what is it? In the, what is that? Oh, uh, that is Jesus holding a frog that he's about to lick, and the frog. <laughs> it looks like he's already like the frog. Randy, have you been <laughs> out here licking frogs? You know, it's the toads that get you high. You've been. Oh, I, I don't fuck. think you've been doing the right amphibian. Is it all no, toads? No, they liked it. No, 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 no. Oh. I got those toads in my backyard. They kill really? dogs. Yeah, they. You can't <laughs> let your dogs near them. Otherwise, they when they have their psychoactive seizure, they bite into the toad more, getting them higher. So it like, oh my fries god, their brain. It's a yeah, it's horrifying. Have they found a way <laughs> to like make drugs out of those frogs? Uh, the fro the, the the frogs are the drugs. No, but like like I mean, they actually. It's, it's what, bring them out? and What do you want? Yes, a lollipop it, of no. this? D- Cody. Cody. What? It's inconvenient, right, to walk around, pick a mushroom, and eat it. So some people learn how to dry it and then put it in Not my capsule. neighborhood. Okay. So these frogs, what I'm saying is it's inconvenient to pick up a frog and lick it when you want to get high. Is it even a good high to begin with? And have they found a way to synthesize it? How do we get here? Toads. I, I was just explaining Randy was toads. Have you oh, been saying frogs <laughs> I said again? Frog. I said frog again. Shit. Yeah, Little tortoises all over again. Oh my god! This Jeez. fiasco of '97. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Just, I can just go find them. And uh, yeah. The trick is they get uh, they get hypnotized by uh, by uh, flashlights. So you had to put the like the headlamp on, and yeah. you come up dead on. You don't sneak up from a frog from behind. All right, I just did it. Yeah, you, no, no, no. You got to come at them with the face. So your headlamp hypnotizes them and then when you grab them you have to make sure your uh your 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 grip doesn't break the beam of light otherwise they unhypnotize themselves and run away <laughs> have you ever licked one no okay. themselves. yeah they, they they get i love it they, they snap out of it if your if your reach breaks the no. beam yeah and i'm with you cody um rem definitely just uh put on a headlamp run around your backyard and he told you can find lick it lick it i have lots of them so i give it a shot Give it a shot. Like I'm 100 percent on board. Like I'm legitimately on board. There's with no way that could backfire. Is no, what are you no, trying there's, to say? Yes, there, Cody is giving you perfect, perfect advice. Okay. Do it. Yeah, I will. I mean, yeah. And, I and, and listeners, wart. all the listeners, do it too. See that wart? I thought I got it from licking a frog. Yeah, yeah. Mm. That's not a wart. That's a blossoming superpower. <laughs> Yeah, I, all I know is like I'll, I'll like every once in a while I will dig it out of there with my teeth and then it grows. Well, don't do that. You're deafening. You're like you're diminishing your own superpowers. You're so stupid, Randy. Unbelievable. <laughs> Randy has all been right. sending me to voicemails. Voice- <laughs> <laughs> Send me to oh, voicemail sorry. twice this week. This fucking guy. I left him. I'm like Randy. Who the fuck do you think you are sending Thanks. me to voicemail? Calling. <laughs> wow. Yeah. It's not like you. Uh, Rang in the middle of my job. None of that uh, is important. We haven't heard this in a long time. Please leave a message. What do we got? What is it? After the beep. I don't know. It came in. I'm jamming. I hope this works. Yeah, me too. 
My my neck is hurting it's from it. Voice Goosebumps. This kind of makes me want to like Night at the Roxbury kind of kind of deal. Here. All right, so this is I guess a new listener. Arnold here. You know, I was wondering why is it that we never see baby pigeons? I mean, they have to exist, right? But we never see them. And what about the fact that our fingers prune up when they're wet for a long time? I heard it's supposed to help us grip things better underwater. Pretty cool, huh? Oh, and have you ever thought about how the word Q has four silent letters? Like, seriously, it's just the letter Q followed by four <laughs> silent partners. How did that even happen? Uh, anyway, I was also pondering about space and time. Is it amazing that there are more stars in the universe than partners. there are grains of sand on Earth? <laughs> how do you and spell Q? How does time Q? feel like it's going so slowly when you're waiting? You like flying But then it just flies by when you're having fun? I know, I know. This is all just random stuff. But I thought you might enjoy a mental vacation from the everyday routine. Give me a call back when you get a chance. No, he was, and let he was compensating, compensating for something. Even though it's already got along. I'd love to hear yeah. from you. I, I liked how we all, instead of paying attention to that <laughs> we, we voicemail, just hooked on the one. Tried listen, to spell a word. Listen, you yeah, fucking nerd. Don't, don't don't hit me with with some shit like Q in the silent letters, and I can't Is remember how to Belgium spell it. in this chat. <laughs> What the fuck, well, man? I mean, yeah, let's make I, that the I new thing. I think he said his name was Arnold. Arnold, I appreciate what you presented to us. <laughs> and call the voicemail again at 860 316 477. Yeah, before we end tonight, I want to share with you guys a story of, of understanding and tolerance and learning and not judging a book by its cover. And okay, this is something that's, that really happened to me. Got and it's come, wait, you're going to do this? Yeah. Yeah. Look, will, you, will you just let me try? Please. Okay. All right. Okay, so this is coffee spot. The wife and I go to every single weekend. All right, I love. I like. I look forward to going to this place. All right, I love it there. Okay, I'm not going to give away the name of the place, but it's a it's, oh. a, it's amazing. And oh yeah, and, yeah, you got an elbow by like you know Jay Z and Beyonce. Oh no, the dogs. Yeah, Julie's cup of Joe, and Julie is married to Joe, and it's adorable. Get it, Julie's cup of Joe. Yeah, no, yeah. no, it was immediately old. Okay. All right. Shut the fuck up, Cody. All right. So, hmm. so the first time we went there, the first time we got there, we're just checking it out for a new place. A lot of these coffee shops tend to be very like liberal, very artsy, fartsy, very bunch of annoying blue haired women in there. You know all that stuff that I hate. Um, ah. And and this place didn't really have that. It kind of had that vibe, but not really. And it had a lot of those like uh, those, those little weird little knickknacks that people sell and a bunch of you know. And, and I saw some signs there with the hearts and the flag, but who cares about any of that shit, right? I don't give a shit. But I figured these were, you know, Julie was a was a very liberal person, okay? It doesn't matter to me. I don't give a shit what your opinions are. I don't care. But here's here's where here's where I'm, it, it flips around, then Cody. Okay, uh, you try getting coffee now, and you you'd be lucky if you can get a straw with your iced coffee because they give you the sip tops, yeah. right? I hate uh, sip tops. Yeah. And normal Why? human beings, we should all hate sip tops because they're terrible for iced coffee. Iced coffee needs a straw. It needs a straw. So at yeah. Julie's Cup of Joe, they say, would you like a sip top or a straw top? And yeah, I'm like, nice. fuck yeah. I was like, a oh, straw top. So anyways, this past, this past Sunday, Julie was there and she did my coffee for me. She handed it to me and she said, a sip top or a straw top? And I said, straw top, please, because a sip top just confuses me. And she's like, oh, yeah, oh, hell yeah. And we don't care about turtles in this place. And, and I'm like, oh, really? Me either. And she's like, and we'll never think about telling you what to do with your life. And I'm like, hell yeah, Julie. I and love then you, you woke up. And thank, you're like, you. Oh. Thank, thank you for my coffee. So what I'm saying is just because they own a coffee shop doesn't mean they're weird. It's perfectly okay. normal. Yep. No, no, no. Next time you come out here, Cody, I'm going to take you there. It's, it's no, no, no. Give me a I'll take the straw. I'll do yeah. as uh, when in Rome. Take but the plastic see, straw, I guess. Because it's some goddamn turtle, we have to suffer drinking iced coffee now. You have to s- Brim? sip it out of us. Did you did you know Steven, Hawaii you know what I'm do fairies about. because of turtles? Yeah, you told, yeah they fucked. You got a lot of yeah. fucking things going on over there because it's fucking turtles. The little one fucking smashed his face last week because of a fucking turtle. The fucking turtle. What yeah. does the turtle do? <laughs> fucking hate turtle. Turtles and frogs. Eat, eat some pizza. Mm. Oh wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I would like I would love all this misdirected turtle hate and Rem like always meant tortoise he's like oh shit <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah turtles are cool man yeah alright that's it anybody have anything else Steven still, well I, I have uh, the interns would like to 
Give a round of applause to Steven. Nice. Of applause. Way too many. That's a lot of interns. Yeah. Can we? I could just send layered, me a nice right? bottle of bourbon instead. That'd be better. But whatever. Yeah. Uh, well, they can't. You, they can't get to you, Stephen. Uh, send it to the headquarters. Not all the interns are twenty-one. Okay. One richdickmanstreet.com. <laughs> Street. I like that. <laughs> You've gotten to the bourbon already. Thank you, Stephen. Enjoy your trip in Malta. I hope you have a great oh, time. Oh, it's going to be great. So many yeah. hot bitches. You got the wife and the girlfriends with you? Or the three All wives? Like, what are you into yes. now? Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, the full entourage. Yes, yes. Entourage doesn't begin to describe the dozens of uh, pages dozens. Of, of my... Of entourage? Of my loins. Oh, loins as now. We, as we God like to call in Malta. That's, that's Malta speak. That's, oh, that's Maltese. He's speaking Maltese. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's Maltese. Mm. That's right. correct. Take a trip Maltese to Monaco. Dog. Monaco. Do you know what they call people from Monaco? Don't say that slur again. We're just, can we end the episode now? End it now. We're, in the, we're fine. Oh. Money guess. <laughs> oh. Uh-oh. Oh, Stephen, where where can we where can we follow you? Any, do you have we're any canceled. Stuff? Yep. No, we're canceled. Why would he accept a plug from a canceled show? You know what? You well, might make me have to edit. Yeah, it's it's really <laughs> just uh, go buy some of our new uh, launch newly launched adventures. Richdickman.com slash shop. Uh, no. Call the oh. call the Dickman line eight six zero three one six four seven seven six. My extension sixty nine, and uh, <laughs> that's pretty much it. <laughs> yeah, oh, okay. Good thing. You laughed. Well, you broke. It. You can't. You can't laugh on camera like that and then expect me to not break character. <laughs> what do you want? What? No, there's no characters. Everything's unbroken. No, he's just he's this talking like in in the figurative. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, as am I. Yes. All right. Before this goes any further, let's bring this baby home. Cody, enjoy your seafood. Enjoy your lip sync contest. Oh, tomorrow. it's so I hope good. Win. Oh, do you want the AI room to do the blackened no, lemon blackened scallops, motherfucker? Wow, lemon blackened scallops. All right, over I'm gonna, pasta. I'm gonna, I'm gonna update you on my crab adventures over the weekend and the race cars that we see, and perhaps oh, yeah. you're stuck there. In my I bed. forgot to mention, Amara yeah. and her dad were just like, "Would you like crab claws?" And I'm thinking, like, you know, a plate with a crab claw is going to come out. But no, they come out like little, like, fucking chicken wings that you, like, bite between, like, the pincers what the and throw yeah. away. Fuck. Yeah. I'm blown away. It was yeah. delicious. No. That's awesome. I'm so glad you're spending time with her family. Mm. I freaked myself out, but it was fine. Yeah. I mean, you, because all you got to do is just, like, oh, it's like the, the chicken wing of the sea. And then the Belgians will get angry at you because you said it like that. Do you find so it hard? It do you, are you looking around to other people for clues and how to act while you're over there? Um, yeah, yeah. I accidentally, I accidentally like did an embarrassing thing like last night. If we have a minute, I, I, I'll share. Yeah, did you? Yeah, please snake? share. Please share. Yes. No, I'm we're gonna here. we're gonna. I was gonna I was gonna watch American Idol with Amara and her dad, right? And then like I'm following Amara because I'm like, where do I sit in the living room? I've never eaten. I have a pizza box in my hand, so I don't know. I don't want to get like oil or marinara on the on the nice, you know. <laughs> rugs and everything. So I'm like, where, where do I eat in here? So I'm just following her where she's going. And like absentmindedly, like Amara put her pizza box down and I just sat down next to it. But she like put her pizza box down at like this like doll table. And I was just like, oh yeah, that we're, I'm eating at the fucking doll like size <laughs> table. And I like come like up right next to it with my own pizza box. No fucking room anywhere. And this is a decorative thing totally by the fireplace thinking like, yeah, why not eat here? And her dad is just like, get on the couch, you moron. And I was like, oh, I want to sit next to Amara. Said how he, he talks. Like Amara will not be sitting at the doll table. I'm like, oh, <laughs> okay. Did he call you a moron uh, for real? Did- uh, I could hear it. He, yeah. he didn't say it out loud, but my my ESP was like, don't turn <laughs> really really reactive that night. Turn that ESP uh, off, man. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He, he- I recently found out my father in law has a nickname for me. <laughs> we we the show can only have so many thir- slur threats. Like, how many are we going to come close to? Nine. That was a Nazi joke. Oh yeah, there is a slur in there. <laughs> yeah, you're right. What was it, Randy? 
Uh, I can't. You know, why would you that. say that? Why would you say <laughs> oh. repeat the slur? <laughs> I want to know what it was. We can oh, bleep it episode. out. That's a good episode. Or not. Can you repeat the slur? <laughs> yeah, write it down. Okay. <laughs> right. uh, well, he didn't really tell me, but what I inferred was that it, he calls me a house inward. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, pretty bad, dude. <laughs> That that's 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 like the textbook definition of slur. <laughs> I don't know why you thought down. this was good. Cody, note the time, please. <laughs> um, uh, you made Randy, me say it. Randy, do you want me to say it out loud so that we can bleep what you said, but not bleep get an what intern I said? in here? Yeah, I'm go just, ahead. Yeah, I'm just, go ahead. I'm just <laughs> oh. kidding. Who? What? Oh, What's happening? <laughs> Who? <laughs> That's, right that's it. Let's fucking go home. That's it. Thank you, everybody. Play some bumpers. This is bullshit. People need to get paid. Uh, if you like what we do, you want to support the show, go ahead and leave a review or tell a friend. Uh, tell a friend, then leave a review. Do both of those things. That's fun. That's cool. Or re- visit uh, uh, patreon.com slash for sick If you like us more than that, you can do the Patreon thing. Get the videos up there. A little bit of pre show, a little bit of post show. All right. You should see that in the videos. Maybe we'll do something. We should do something. We, oh, we got to watch it. We're watching a rat race or something coming up, right? right? Yeah, on May 2nd. Oh, oh next shit. Tuesday. Cody can't do air. that. Cody's going to be flying. It's going to be you and me. Maybe. Yeah. And, I'll, I'll and try maybe and do Steven. It. He'll try to do it. Steven is invited. Oh, that's right. That's right. So we'll <clears> let you know how that one goes. I'll tell uh, you what. If I'm in the uh, air, I can't. Yep. The internet's not strong enough to watch it, but I'll just send you texts Ooh. of my guesses. Or you know what I mean? I'll send you instant messages of my guesses. Oh, like, I like that. <laughs> was that Leonard Nimoy again? And now Cody's you know, What updated. I was going to say is what if we all, do you want to watch it live together and talk over it or I'll watch it independently and then I do a rundown talk, and we no, talk, talk about it. Talk over it. I don't want to do a movie review. Okay. Yeah, I don't fucking do that. All right. <sighs> That's awful. All right. It's got the best, it's got the best scene in any comedy in history. Okay. Don't ruin it. it. I, I don't, I don't want to oversell it, all but. Right. Oh, you got to let us know it what we're watching us on. All right. Uh, richstickman.com for all your Rich Stickman needs. All right. Click the merch tab. Get a shirt. Something else. You can find us at richstickmanshow at gmail.com or at richstickmanshow on Twitter. I am at Rem Dickman on Twitter. Randy's at uh, Sir Zero with an E or Sir Zero with an E at gmail.com. Uh, producer Ryan at Ryan TRDS. My mother in Italy at Rem underscore mama. And Cody, how do they find you, my friend? On the Twitter. Still there. Uh, on the Twitter at Cody McCann. C-D-Y-M-C-C-A-N-N. You can find uh, you can find Stephen Dickman by calling one eight hundred sixty nine my balls. Is that, that is right? Correct. It's not the yeah. right number. That's not. It's not? It's not no, that is that is it's uh, trademarked. See, uh, yes, unless you like yes pay and custom Cody. For that. Yes and. Thank you. All right. Custom. It's great to have you back, Stephen, for the night. We love love hearing your voice. This is great. I like this. Yeah, this is fun. Randy, Cody, I love listening best. to your voices. Thank you. Uh, so sweet. Aww. We'll see you next week. It's big old 260. Five years of this bullshit. Yeah. I might be in Hawaii. I can't wait to sign my new contract, Stephen. I said good. You, yeah, I said good night while Cody was talking, so you guys can do your thing. Good yeah. night. There we go. Oh, she did it again. Yeah, that's twice. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Boosh. I can't blame the Hawaii lie because I'm not really there. No, Stephen. Would you like? A, would you like to say something? I'll talk over him too. Like, like, see ya. Oh, he's probably yeah. talking to. It. Oh, there, there it is. There it is. Oh, it even echoed. That was awesome. Yeah. That's what. So, should I play the after show intro? The after that doesn't show? make any sense. I play as many I bumpers. I just as got an aneurysm. Can. I just got an aneurysm. I uh, liked it. It's, it, was, it was this after one. show intro. This is the after. Oh, I thought this was uh, an intro. This podcast. Yeah. I, I decided it's the after show intro. It's not an outro for, for the patrons. Okay, like after this, you know, like like you you you'll cut the show this. before this. Nope, Rim, obviously. Cody and Randy. Oh really? I'll cut the show right yeah. now. And straight now, America. <laughs> America. <laughs> so far, man. Yeah. Uh, I'm uh, texting Joma right now. Yeah. Just saying hi. I meant to, I meant to like, uh, 10, 10 minutes ago, be like, see ya.